Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic, Student Record System. So without much delay, let's begin. First, we will be looking at the requirements of this project. You will be requiring an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code, a text editor. You may use any text editor, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system. Again, you may use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. Without much delay, we'll be looking at the code part, which is quite important. First, we have included the header files, that is iostream, appstream, and windows.h. Then we have a standard line, which is using namespace std. Then we have a structure named student, where we have certain character arrays named character name and character id then we have a data type of int named role then floating data types are there that is pro arc writing alg sum and average these are basically the attributes which you are going to use for different subjects and the total aggregated values pro is for programming arc is for architecture then writing then algorithms etc then we have certain functions this intro function main menu accept data view specific view all result delete record and modify. Then we have a main function. In the main function, we are basically giving the color to the text, like system color A. Then we have a character variable named C. Then we are clearing the screen from the system CLS. Then we are calling the intro function. So we'll be driven towards the intro function. Then we are using a do while loop, where again we are changing the color. And we are basically displaying the student report card management system. Then we have two options that is go to the main menu or exit and we have to enter the choice. So when we enter the choice, we'll be driven towards a particular option. In the case one, we have main menu. It will display that thank you for using this software. Sorry. In the case when we have the main menu, that means the main menu function will be called. And in the case two, that is if you are choosing exit, then it will display you a thank you note that thank you for using this software and who have made this uh, who oh, we are this is just a random information like all these names we are seeing that is random so we are just taking five of the random members names and developers just to show a courtesy then we have a accept data function in the accept data function we have a file named report.txt as you all know that we are using the file handling software con file handling concept so that whatever data we are inputting or whatever data we are retrieving, we are having a store of it in the file part. If the file could not be open, it will display that the file could not be open, press any other key. Or else if the file is successfully opened, then it will display that create a report card. You have to enter your full name, your ID number, your role number, your programming mark, your computer architecture mark, your writing skill mark and your algebra mark. After this, it will display that your file is successfully saved and you have to press any other key to continue. Then we have the intro function. In the intro function, you will get a very nice display animated version. Then it will display that this is student report card management system. You have to press any other key to continue. In the main menu function, again, you have certain op functionalities that this program can do. First, the color will be changed to C. Then it will ask you to enter to choose actually. You must be confused about the sleep 300. That means you are getting a time transaction. That is after this 300 milliseconds time, the next is going to be displayed. So this is to just make the interface very user friendly. And it also makes the software look visually aesthetic. It will ask you to create student report card, view all students report card, view a single student report card, modify student report card result and delete record. These all functionalities can be performed. Then we are going to enter our choice accordingly. The switch case will be driven towards a particular test cases. After that, you will perform the basic functionality and you will be driven out of the code. Then in the view all function, you can see if the file could not be opened, then basically it will display that sorry, the file could not be opened or else it will ask you to enter all the students report cards name. 
the student name, student ID, student roll number. That means all the students' IDs, like their functionality is that if you want to display a particular student mark or your, if you want to display the whole class mark. So if you're clicking on the whole class mark, then whoever have enrolled in the program, all those marks will be displayed. In view specific things, if you want just a single student's record to be displayed, then we have result. Same, we are referring to the report.txt file in the file handling concept. So here, if the file could not be opened, again, it will display that, sorry, your file could not be opened or else if it is basically, it can be opened, then it will display that, yeah, this file is open and these are the functionalities you are performing and this is the output. So then modify, if you want to modify certain persons, uh, certain students details, like whenever you are displaying a mark, if some sort of ambiguity is there or if you have entered wrong marks, then the student may complain and you can also modify the marks. So this functionality is also there. Then um, the delete record again, you are having a temp record to report.txt file and record to.txt file. That means whenever you're going to change something, whenever you're going to delete something, so you need to have that backup. Like in future, you may need that text or that file again. Like when you're deleting something from your phone, say a picture or a song, then that is somewhere stored in your temporary storage files. So that whenever you want to retrieve it, you can again go back to the recycle bin and retrieve. The same functionalities we are going to perform here. That's why we are having two files. So this was the end of the code. So I hope you understood the code. Now I'll show you the working of this code. So here I open my Visual Studio and see this is the code which you have written. I'm just running it first. See, I ran it. And uh, it will load, it will take some time, then it will load. So basically whatever we have done previously, whatever I explained you previously, the same thing we are going to see here. Okay, see, this is a sleep, it will show welcome. Then it will ask you, this is an intro function. This is student report card management system, press any key to continue. So I pressed one here. So see, this is main menu or you want to exit. I will choose main menu. Then here it is asking me all the six things. So this is the work of sleep. So after 300 milliseconds, you're going to the another, you're going to another part, then again, another part. So I want to create a student report card. So I press one here. It is asking me to enter my full name. I have to enter Simran Patnayak, I entered. Then it's asking me to enter the, I, ID number, so I entered 1245, then my roll number 4567, then my programming marks in 90, computer architecture 100, writing skill is 95, algebra is 85. Your file, file is successfully saved and you have to press any other key to continue. Again, I want to go to the main menu and I want to see all the students report cards. So I press two here, see, previously I created this Simran, now I created Simran Patnaik. So basically two students mark is stored here. Then if I want to see, like uh, see the student ID number is 245, this is 4567. So I want to see that whether a single student's mark is visible or not. So I press here three, it will asking me the roll number. So I type 4567, so I get Simran Patnaik. So this is clear. All these marks are being displayed. So this is clear. I get the sum. I get the average as well. Then again, I want to modify. Say I my computer architecture mark is increased. So I want to modify. So I click on 4. It is asking me, click uh, your roll number. So I typed. So again, it is asking me that what you want to change. So I type my name. Simran Patnayak. ID number is 245. My roll number is 4567 and my programming mark is 90. I said that I have to change my computer architecture mark. Say I, I got 95, but by mission they wrote 100. Then this is 95 and this is 85. So uh, the file is successfully updated. So let, let's now check whether this file is changed or not. So I have to see this three, then 4567. See. My marks is changed. My computer architecture mark was 100 before, now it's 95. Let's check for the result. Now I have to see the result. So 4567, I check the result. 
this is the this is the result this is my result then it's uh, let me delete let me try and delete something so i'm not trying to delete the record so my roll number and i have deleted this record so now ch let's check in the main result see my record is not there so i hope you understood the working of this code thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas Thank you everyone and have a great day.